Okay, everyone I think has something that they're afraid of. And that's why I'm making this video right now. I'm talking about fear because yesterday I saw a program, and I'm going to get into that later, but it was about a creature that we've encountered in the wild before, but never get, really gave it much of a thought as the danger it represents. So anyway, fear. Now, I've seen programs on National Geographic where in uh, Central America, South America, people are afraid of jaguars because they have been known to kill humans. In Canada, British Columbia, where we live, every year there are attacks on humans by cougars, mountain lions, puma, whatever you call them. Predominantly, it's young cats that haven't learned to hunt properly. They face starvation, so what they do is they catch something that's easy to uh, catch, like uh, children left alone, or often it's just domestic livestock or pets. Even in the Okanagan where we live, every year there are reports of cougars coming down into the city limits. And now imagine if you've ever tried holding a tiny little kitten that doesn't want to be held. It's like a buzzsaw going off in your hand. I mean, you, you get scratched, bit, it hurts. So imagine one of these cats that weigh over 100 pounds. I mean, they can weigh upwards of 170 pounds. And they're found all across the Americas. In Florida, when Cindy and I were down there, we encountered alligators at Gatorland. And uh, this is something that Floridians fear, alligators, because so many of the homes are located close to canals and waterways, lakes and stuff. And uh, there was a moratorium on alligator hunting because they were facing extinction. So they stopped the hunting of them, which means that there was a population explosion. And today there's supposed to be more than a million alligators in Florida. And there have been attacks on people. And once again, pets are sometimes caught by the gators. I mean, they're big. They need a lot of food. Down in Banco Chinchero, Mexico, we encountered saltwater crocodiles in the wild. As a matter of fact, we stayed in a uh, fisherman's hut perched on stilts above the water and there was a saltwater crocodile, totally wild. It wasn't in cage or anything who slept underneath the house. Now that's one of those things where you don't want to be sleepwalking and wander out and fall into the water because there was only like maybe five feet of deck on one side of this structure. And uh, again, saltwater crocodiles. But you know, it's not only in North America, crocodiles. South America, Australia, people fear crocodiles. And in uh, Africa, the Nile crocodiles are notorious and they're huge, a ton in weight. Of course, we do have people that are afraid of clowns, so I gotta put that in here. I mean, you never know. You could have nightmares about clowns because, like I said, some people fear the clowns. But more often than not, our fears are about things that can harm us or things that are just icky I guess that's the way to put it because some people who don't even have any knowledge about them just automatically assume that something is dangerous the color is nice. ah. Dolphin Cove just outside of Ocho Rios Jamaica it's so strong you can just feel it's ball it's python constrictor yeah. I was watching on TV last night a 1000 way to die and the snake rocked the sky with that <laughs> Oh, that'd be a horror. But you know what? Apparently, that's really fast. Like I, I've watched yeah. programs about how pythons and or constrictors, at least with deer, yeah. and within seconds you have a heart attack Six and you're spider? gone. Okay. Yes, spider. Okay. Okay, they're not friendly. <laughs> if you invade on their privacy, then you know what happens. That's a big spider. It's a golden silk spider, and. It's one of those rare occasions where you can see a sign for it and right in front of it is a real spider. Our most viewed video on YouTube is of a giant tarantula on my hand. It's been seen by more than 30 million people and man if you read the comments it's a testament that people are turned off and scared of spiders. It doesn't matter if you're a guy or girl. 
water has many scary things into it for most people. I mean, we have talked to people who will not go into salt water, afraid of everything from sharks and all these different things that can harm them. Even stingrays. The crocodile hunter was swimming above one and its barb was plowed right through his chest and killed him. And yet all these animals, they have one thing in common. Most of the time, all they want to do is get away from you. Don't bother me. Here you can see one of our divers uh, just barely touching a stingray. And he doesn't turn around and attack you and you know try jabbing you. He just moves away. But one of the interesting things is that when Cindy and I were uh, on our first trip to Puerto Vallarta, we never realized, because you know they don't tell you this in travel brochures, to be aware of stingrays and many of the beaches along the Pacific coast have stingrays really close in and every year there are people who just walk in the water wading knee deep water maybe a little bit deeper and get one of those barbs jabbed into their feet into their calves and apparently it is more painful than you can imagine but like I say that's one of those things that you don't hear about in the oceans sharks are one of the things that we fear the most and there are shark attacks I mean in the last little while there have been shark attacks off the coast of Florida California Hawaii Australia has had several deadly attacks in the last few months we are afraid of sharks and yet when you consider that every single day there are tens and tens of millions of people in the ocean swimming uh, snorkeling diving doing whatever playing splashing around it's not something that we should fear as much as we do oh, crazy. Oh, amazing. oh this is going to scare her more than it scares me oh, no. check this out <laughs> it's alive. Oh, oh my god oh, yeah, my fins god. up Good, and I'm going to take it from you now. Okay. Now you can put your arms down. This one, is, there's a little physical way to tell the age. You'd have to get one oh. from birth. It's oh, an yeah? actual age. Yeah. Yes. See like that here. little indentation by the eye? Yeah. That's the ear. Oh, no bad stuff about my shirt. Okay. No bad stuff. Yeah. Now, you notice you can stay in one position, yet it's still able to breathe. Yeah. It has a specially developed muscle in the jaw that allows them to suck the water and you can just keep passing it over the gills. Most of the sharks have to keep swimming. Depending on what species. Yes. Now, you, you got live right fish in here you. too. Like this. Little fish. Left hand, you're going to pet the belly. Go on. Dolphin Cove, Jamaica. Smoother, don't it? By Ocho Rios. Now, these fins on the side are called pectoral fins. Those are for steering animals. Yes. Now, you can put it in front. Wow. Go on and tap. Dorsal fin. This one by my hand is called the anal fin. So it's the genitals. We have the tail back there. Yeah. Well, you know this tail is shaped straight compared yeah. to other sharks. Yeah. This shark will need to swim fast or far to find food. They're bottom feeders. Oh. Yeah, it's got it's uh it detects vibrations. Yes. Uh, she don't like the fast food. She prefers to be happy. So it was very nice meeting you. Now if you hold your hand. Nurse sharks. I mean, it's one thing when you're at a uh, dolphinarium and you have a nurse shark put on your lap, but when you're out snorkeling in the wild and you see these majestic creatures, and again, all they want to be is left alone. It's absolutely amazing. And uh, like I say, there are many people that still fear sharks and wouldn't even go into the water if they even saw nurse sharks. But uh, generally speaking, they're quite harmless. We have been very fortunate in our times of travel to encounter so many different things, which shows that fear, well, the only thing you've got to fear is fear itself. But with that said, I've got to tell you that I have my own heebie-jeebies. I don't like hornets and wasps. When I was a young kid, in the summertime, I used to spend all the days, long, beautiful, warm days down on the river fishing. And when you get the smell of fish on your hands, the hornets and the wasps come after you. And man, I used to, I used to just go frantic, swatting at them. And the more you swat, the more they come. 
Like, they're not afraid of you. Even though they're a fraction of your size, obviously, you know, the size of a little finger, they still come after you. And that's one of the things that I'm heading on with this video because the next section that I'm going to be creating shows that the things that we really have to fear are not these big things that we can see and keep an eye on, but it's the little things that come up and bite us out of the left field because that has happened to us. Both Cindy and I have had unlucky encounters. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching.